Hey, what's up guys, Dan here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys step-by-step -step how to build an extremely profitable Shopify dropshipping store. Now, this video is gonna be specifically for complete beginners, and in this video, I really wanna be showing you guys the power of Shopify, just how easy it is to build an amazing uh, Shopify store, as well as you know how to really scale it, how to make it look great, and uh, how to you know just get it up and running. So I'm super, super excited to be bringing you guys this video and I'm basically gonna be starting from zero, you know, so if you have absolutely no experience in any kind of online business, maybe if you've been looking to start an online business, if you've been looking to create some passive income for yourself, then this is an amazing opportunity and this video is exactly for you if you've been looking to quit your nine to five job forever and really live out your dream life and really build an online business that will allow you to do so, that will allow you to make passive income every single month while traveling, while, you know, buying whatever you want, while being free, and while basically living a life true to yourself, living a truly epic life, then this video is for you. So I'm super, super pumped. So I will be showing you guys step by step in this video everything you need to know, and I'm gonna be showing you guys all of the strategies that have worked best for me to build out my own super profitable Shopify stores. So let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So step one is obviously go on Shopify.com, and I am in Canada, so for me this is Shopify.ca, but it doesn't really matter. And the very first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to put in your email address, okay? So I'm just gonna go Go ahead and type in an email here, dan at amzfreedomcourse.com. Get started, okay? And then just, you know, create a password. So there you go. And then for your store name, you don't really have to think of this right now. You can change this later, okay? But in this video, uh, the niche that we're gonna be doing is the fishing niche. So I'm gonna be building out a fishing store step by step. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it can be that, you know, you can build a Shopify store that's gonna be profitable, that's gonna be putting money in your pocket within one hour, okay? So for the store name, we're gonna be doing uh, Fishing Pro. Okay, and that's just a random name that I came up with. So Fishing Pro, there you go. Okay, so a store with that name already exists. So let's just try to create a name here. So let's see, maybe Fish Pro. I don't know if that's a great name, but here you go, Fish Pro. That probably already exists. Okay, Fishing, Fishing Warrior. Let's do Fishing Warrior. All right, Fishing Warrior, awesome. Okay, so there you go, Create Store. So now it's gonna create the store for us. And basically this is just the beginning. But uh, basically, we're gonna have to fill out these uh, these steps right here. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Are you already selling? Uh, and then you wanna uh, select I sell with a different system, okay? And the reason for this is because you wanna tell Shopify that you're already an established store because Shopify and actually any other website that will allow you to set up a store, you know, if they're gonna be working with you, they're gonna wanna know that, um, you know, you're already making money um, with your store. You're not just trying to, you know, start making money online. You already have a functional store with uh, products that are actually selling, you know, already with uh, customers that are interested in your products. And the reason for that is because, you know, obviously they'll prioritize you and they'll rank you better. And so uh, for that reason, we're gonna do, I sell with a different system, which system do you use the most? And now for this, it's not really that important, but because I already sell on Amazon, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select Amazon, and I highly suggest you choose the same option. Why are you creating the store? And then you wanna uh, select, I wanna move my existing business to Shopify. Uh, what is your current revenue? You want to select the highest uh, possible revenue here, which is a million plus. And you might be asking me, Dan, I've made zero dollars for my Shopify store. Well, like I said, you know, this is just for ranking purposes. This is just, you know, questions that are not going to affect your Shopify store that much. This is just to let uh, Shopify know what your intentions are. So obviously, you you know, everybody watching this video wants to get to a million plus. And so, you know, basically, uh, you're going to tell Shopify that you already have an existing store. And, you know, that way you're going to get the maximum chances of them properly ranking you. So a million plus. And then are you setting up a store for a client? No, because you're setting one up for yourself. And then now basically you're gonna want to fill this all out. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out and we're gonna skip the video until I do that. All right, so now we've created the actual store. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to add a theme, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to online store. And then once this loads, we are going to uh, choose a theme. So let's go ahead and click on explore free themes. Now. Uh, the two best themes here are uh, Jumpstart and Brooklyn, in my opinion. Uh, I've specifically used Brooklyn a lot, and I'm sure you guys have seen Brooklyn. If you guys go look at a lot of Shopify stores out there, you'll see that they match this particular uh, kind of design. So clearly, this is the most used one just because, you know, it's the nicest looking one. It's the cleanest looking one, and it also capitalizes on the whole, like, minimalistic trend, you know. So for the purpose of this video, we're just going to use the Brooklyn theme. So just click here, and then for the two styles, we are going to click on Classic. So add Brooklyn. 
And also a huge plus with the Brooklyn theme is that it is uh, mobile friendly. And you know, 60% of traffic on your Shopify store is gonna come from uh, mobile. That's why you wanna make sure that people on their phones, if they're looking at your Shopify store, you wanna make sure that you know everything looks great and that you know everything's optimized and you know there's nothing wrong. Because trust me guys, people have a very short attention span nowadays, and especially if they're trying to go, you know, and they're looking, they're they're spending time out of their day to look at your Shopify store, some random Shopify store, they don't wanna wait more than like a split second for it to uh, you know load and for it to be optimized so that's why uh, for this video we're gonna choose Brooklyn and now the next step of this once we have Brooklyn installed let's just click on preview let's take a look at uh, what it looks like I love that fishing warrior so this is basically what our uh, theme looks like and so right here the very first step is we're gonna want to set a picture uh, in the back here and there's a specific process to do this um, right now we kind of have no picture here and in this video I'm gonna show you guys you know how to change all of these button uh, all this button text how to actually make it go to your product pages how to create a best sellers list, how to create different collections, all that stuff, as well as some of the best apps that have completely 10 x my store. Uh, I'm gonna share that with you guys in this video as well. So let's just close the preview and let's go back to our site right here. We're gonna click on customize theme. And now once we're here, the first step, like I said, is to select a, uh, a great first picture that's gonna pop up right here in the background when people are gonna go on your store. So for this, you can use any kind of free stock photos. If you don't know what stock photos are, uh, they're basically, you know, just like photos, uh, nice looking photos that can be used as banners or even as wallpapers and things like that for uh, you know Shopify stores or for anything really. But for this video, we're gonna use a site called unsplash.com. Um, and then the reason why Unsplash is great is because it's free and it's copyright free. Um, so you're gonna wanna use any kind of site that has copyright free stock photos. Um, as you can see, all of these are uh, copyright free. And since we're building a phishing store, right, which is actually also very easy to target on Facebook because we're gonna be bringing in customers using Facebook ads and that's gonna be a whole other video. So if you guys are uh, interested in a Facebook ads for Shopify video and you guys are interested in exactly what kind of ads I've been running that have, you know, completely exploded my store sales on my Shopify stores, then stay tuned, don't go anywhere, especially subscribe to the channel because there's just a ton of great stuff coming up and I wanna share with you guys the best possible strategies to maximize your uh, success on your Shopify store. So now on Unsplash, we're gonna type in uh, phishing, okay? So let's take a look at what we have here. So we got some beautiful, we've got some beautiful pictures that we can use. Um, so as you can see, this is a great shot right here. And then we've also got this one. I actually really like this one. So we also got this one. These are like just like great shots to use in the background here. And all the time, what's really important, and a lot of people miss out on this specific step, um, you wanna make sure that if you're gonna enter a certain niche, okay, if you're gonna enter, for example, the fishing niche, you always wanna put yourself in the shoes of your uh, customer because you, know, you always wanna ask yourself like, um, you know, what kind of pictures do I wanna be seeing on a Shopify store for me to go like, wow, you know, I'm gonna go, like I already love this store so much, I'm seeing this picture, like, you know, how is this making me feel and things like that. So really just put yourself in the shoes of your customer and really that's like an essential step in entrepreneurship and as long as you can do that, then you're gonna kind of know what you need to be doing to get those sales and to really, you know, start making that passive income. So um, let's keep scrolling right here. I mean, I've got two great pictures right here. So I think we're gonna use, um, I think we're gonna use like this one right here for the, uh, uh, for the main store store picture. I think this one right here is good. It's kind of, uh, you know, basic right here. So just click on download free. That way you make sure that you get the highest possible quality. And we're also gonna download this one as well, okay? And now the second step, and this is incredibly important, is we're gonna wanna compress these pictures. And the reason why we wanna compress these pictures, what that means is basically you take the picture that we just downloaded and we reduce the file size, but we don't reduce the quality, okay? So obviously, you know, the quality is gonna go down a little bit, but not by that much, like you won't notice it. Um, and the reason why we wanna do that is because we wanna make our website uh, load as fast as possible because like I said, people don't wanna wait uh, for Shopify stores to load or for any website to load nowadays, right? Why would they wait when they can just go on Facebook and you know keep scrolling because Facebook is addictive and your site you know isn't until they actually go and see how you know awesome it is after you know what you're gonna build it out that way after watching this video. So like I said, if a site takes more than a few seconds to load, people will abandon and there's a lot of reasons for long load speeds. And for this video, we're gonna use Tiny PNG. Um, that's the site that I recommend uh, to compress your pictures. So let's go ahead and put the first one in here. All right, so just drag and drop and now it's gonna compress it. And then we'll put the second one in here as well. And so now while that's compressing, we'll just wait a little bit. So as you can see, the second one is four megabytes. Um, so 75% less. And you can see that, you know, if you compare them side by side, it's like literally the same thing. Um, as you can see, we got that one and then we've got that one. It's literally the same thing as you can see, uh, pretty much. So 
This one has just like slightly more depth to it, but trust me, it's worth it in the long run for page load speeds. You're just gonna get more sales because people won't be leaving your site. All right, so let's actually put these pictures on our Shopify store. So where are we? I've got like a million tabs open. So now we're in our theme and we're gonna click on slideshow. And then right here, we've got the different slides. You can add more slides right here. You can put as many pictures as you want. And so as you can see, these are our two uh, images right here. So we're gonna click on select image and now we're gonna upload our image. So just click on upload an image. And the one we wanted to do is the canoe one. So we're just gonna click on that. And then that should uh, be great right there. So as you can see, okay, so this one, there you go, it's perfect. So it's not pixelated or anything like that. It looks great. Um, and then also um, we're gonna select that. And then you can even change like the uh, opacity and things like that. So you can uh, customize all these things, but it looks fine as it is right now. Um, and so obviously we're gonna change everything else. And for slide number two, we're gonna upload the second image that we chose there. So that is this one right here. Okay, so there you go. Actually, I kind of like this one better. It's just more of a, you know, it's just more like epic, especially when someone goes on the site first. Um, so let's just take a look there. Yeah, I really like this picture. So um, I think that, um, let's see, the first image, and then we've got the second image. So yeah, I think we're gonna use uh, that second image there as the first one. So very easy, you know, you just change it if you need to. And it's just, you know, very simple. The whole point of Shopify before this, before Shopify existed, like the whole point of Shopify is that they actually created like a store builder that is super easy to use. It's basically drag and drop. Um, you know, it's easy to edit. Anybody with no experience, just like you guys, you know, watching this video right now can go and create a Shopify store that is actually gonna make, that actually can make six figures a year, seven figures a year, basically after a couple clicks, right? So, you know, it doesn't take that much experience, that much knowledge. And obviously it's a huge opportunity now with the massive growth of e-commerce. Um, you know, the massive growth of drop shipping and things like Amazon FBA drop shipping. You want to be on as many platforms as possible. So that's why I'm super excited. You guys are here with me. Um, so there you go. So that's our first uh, picture. And then for the second one, we're going to change it to the canoe. There you go. Perfect. So now we've got our pictures here and we're going to want to uh, actually uh, edit the text right here. So let's um, see what we've got here. So um, we're going to write right here the best fishing gear on the planet. All right, there you go. And then that's how you change that. And right here, we're gonna write fishing warrior. And then for the button text down here, you can put shop now, or you can put, you know, browse, or you can put like enter, you know, um, that way you can take them to any of your collections, which I'm gonna show you how to create. So um, for this uh, video, we're just gonna put shop now. All right, and then uh, slide link. Right here, uh, we can click on a particular product. We can take them to a particular collection. Um, and uh, we haven't built any collections yet. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and skip that for now. And so um, there you go. So that's basically our very first uh, slide. So you guys get the idea and you guys can do the same thing for the second slide. So as you can see, super simple to edit. And now we're gonna want to add a logo on the top left. So we've got our uh, brand right here, Fishing Warrior. And then on the top left right here, we're gonna wanna add a logo. And for that, and I've always used this website for logos, I highly recommend uh, fiverr.com, all right? And on Fiverr, um, the great thing is that you can actually find a logo for $5, $10, $20, or $30. I recommend a range between $10 and $30 because sometimes at $5, you really get you know logos that are recycled and you don't wanna have a recycled logo. You know you wanna make sure that you're putting in the effort for your Shopify store, you're putting in some investment. So let's just type in logo, all right? We're gonna hit search. And then right here, we're gonna sort by best selling. And this is gonna show us the uh, best selling logo designers. And obviously, you know, if they're best selling, they're probably good. And a lot of these are actually gonna go an extra step. They're gonna, you know, they can create you like a minimis, minimalist logo. They can create you a watercolor logo. So it really depends on the design that you want. An animated logo. Obviously you don't want an animated one for your Shopify store. Um, your logo is gonna go right up here on the top left. So let's just uh, go ahead and click on, let's see here. Da -da -da. For example, there's like something that I would choose. Let's see if we can find like a natural logo, nature logo. Um, maybe we'll find something like that. All right, so something like this could be good. So it's $5 and then they usually try to upsell you if you want like, um, you know, higher quality or you want them to uh, do any edits or anything like that, usually like $10 or $20. So yeah, so just you know, go here and then right here, as you can see, this one is a standard, so $30, or you can do a basic, which is just uh, two logo designs with uh, JPEG PNG one day delivery. It's five bucks, super cheap. So I recommend even getting, you know, just a couple of these, uh, contacting like three or four, just pay like 20, $25 until you find 
um, you know, a great logo for yourself. And then for this video, we're just gonna take a random logo that I'm gonna find and we're just gonna plug that in. All right, now that you've got your logo, uh, we're gonna go ahead and install the logo right here, super simple. So just click on header, uh, same section where we changed our pictures. So just header right here and then for the logo select image and then right here I've already uploaded mine, but I'll upload it again to show you guys. Super simple, just click on that. And this is just some random logo that I found uh, online. Don't copy me, all right? Go ahead and get your own logo on Fiverr, okay? So for the purpose of this video, I just used uh, this one right here. And then you can also edit the alt text, but you don't need to worry about that. All right, now the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna change the buttons up here. And um, always, always you wanna make sure that you're modeling after successful Shopify stores. Um, and I'm sure obviously there are successful phishing Shopify stores, which we're gonna go ahead and look at in a second right now. And I'm gonna see how they laid out their website. And that's what I highly recommend you guys do because you know success builds on success. And if something is working for someone else, then I highly recommend that you go and then emulate them and then you know even like their products and things like that um, emulate their strategy and basically just put your own little uh, spin on it put your own little twist and that is the key to success all right so let's go ahead and find a fishing store so now i'm going to show you guys an amazing chrome extension that i highly recommend for every single one of you that i've personally used to find amazingly profitable shopify products to add to my personal shopify stores as well as uh, shopify stores that are extremely uh, profitable to mimic and to emulate you know emulate their strategies and so it's a chrome extension called intelligence and the link for that is right down below. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and check it out. And it's basically like a product research tool, but not only can you uh, find Shopify products and get ideas for Shopify products, but you can also use this tool and it's got an amazing feature called the Shopify store search. And so for this video, that's what we're gonna use right now. And we're gonna go ahead and type in uh, phishing. And right here, it shows you like the top uh, Shopify stores in the world, right? So as you can see, we've got uh, ColourPop, which is the number one. We've got Fashion Nova. So you can get some inspiration as well from these just as general stores that um, you know that uh, sell a lot so as you can see shop new arrivals best sellers so we can actually uh, use shop new arrivals and best sellers as well and then for fashion Nova we've got I mean a bunch of stuff over here obviously fashion Nova is a huge fashion brand but essentially it's a Shopify store as you can see it's literally um, you know Shopify they might have increased the quality of their products they might have you know gotten better as uh, time went by as the popularity soared right but uh, at the beginning, and by the way, this wheel right here, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what app this is because this app will literally 10X your Shopify sales and it's gonna convince people to go and check out from your store and to purchase products from your store um, when you know they were about to leave. So it's super powerful. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this one as well later in this video. But um, let's go ahead and use the Shopify store search and we're gonna type in phishing. And right here, we can do uh, traffic. So let's just do over a thousand and then daily sales, we can do, uh, you know, over a thousand. Let's see if we can see anything over here. So as you can see, we've got spinning, fishing reels. Um, we've got some kayaks and then we've got this one right here. So let's see. So this one right here. So this one is like a fishing. Uh, so this, they sell fishing reels and this is essentially Shopify, slightly outdated store. So they've got just reels, rods, line tools. And then this one right here, this one's more of a clothing store. As you can see also Shopify store, obviously. Um, so this is like more like uh, fishing clothing. Um, so also uh, super cool if we were selling fishing clothing I would literally just do this men's youth women's uh, and then we've got freshwater saltwater tackle uh, which is also uh, great so for this uh, for this store we're just gonna go ahead and do shop new releases and um, best sellers so for that to edit these buttons right here we're gonna click on header and then edit menu up here and then that will take us to this window right here and as you can see we are going to have a uh, home and then for the second one, we are gonna do uh, best sellers. And then for the third one, we're gonna do new releases. All right, because I think best sellers a, is a more important, um, is better just to have as a first as a first option right there. So new releases, and then right here it's asking us for a link. So right now we're just gonna do all collections, and I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, create collections and things like that. That way they actually go to uh, specific, uh, you know, the right pages and the right products. So let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, store. Uh, there you go, home bestsellers and new releases. It looks beautiful. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna edit our cart page. And there's a very important thing we need to do with our checkout page. So right here, just go ahead and click on checkout. And then we're gonna change this from drawer to page. 
And the reason for this, and going back to what I said earlier with uh, changing the picture and making it uh, a smaller size, is because the drawer pages, they don't load on all the browsers. So that's why you wanna make sure that the website is guaranteed to work for every single person going on it, especially the cart page, because if that's not gonna work uh, for sure, you're gonna lose that sales. So just uh, you know, change it to page and then that's it. And then the next step is to add some social media links. Uh, so as you can see right here, we're just gonna go ahead and type in facebook.com uh, slash you know, phishing warrior or whatever. Um, so obviously you wanna go and create those, uh, those social media links for yourself. So phishing warrior, and then you can do Pinterest, Instagram, um, so I recommend obviously Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then you can also do Pinterest. Uh, Pinterest is a great one as well, especially for something like the fishing niche. Um, so there you go. And then we've got a bunch of other ones as well. And then basically that's going to, um, at the bottom of your page right here, that is going to uh, show up right here. And then if they click on Facebook, they're gonna be taken to the correct uh, page. Now, another beautiful part about building a Shopify store is that you can create a huge social media following. And that's exactly what uh, Fashion Nova did right here and ColourPop. Um, right here, Fashion Nova, the reason why they're so successful is because they leverage um, Instagram influencers and things like that and social media. You know, if you go on their Instagram page, as you can see, let's go ahead and go on their Instagram page just really quickly. I need to show you guys this 12.8 million followers and it is a Shopify store. So anybody watching this video can literally go and create a Fashion Nova. Now that sounds, you know, much easier said than done for sure. But if you, you know, if you just take action, that's literally the most important step right here in online business and any online income stream is just to take action. And most of you, unfortunately watching this video, I really hope that you do take action, but most of you might just watch this video. You know, you might think it's too hard when in reality, it's really not that hard at all. You know, right here, we've only done a couple steps and now we're already on our way to a functional uh, Shopify store that can create us an amazing passive income and that we can scale up and up and up. And then, like I said, we can also build a social media following for it as well. So just put in the effort and take action. And then the next one we're going to do is the favicon. Now what the favicon is, is this little uh, picture right here. As you can see right now, it's the default Shopify logo. Now you for sure want to change that because if you don't change that, it's just going to be the Shopify logo and the people going on it are going to know that it's just the Shopify store. I mean, there's nothing bad with that but um, you know you want to make sure that your website is uh, tip top looks amazing so uh, to get a favicon um, again you're gonna to want to go on Fiverr and then you're gonna to want to type in uh, favicon and then sort by best sellers and then that way you are pretty much guaranteed to get an awesome uh, favicon and as you can see this one right here is even gonna do a logo for you as well so I'll design an outstanding brand identity logo and favicon so for this video we're just gonna keep it uh, at that but you know you're just gonna to want to uh, you know get a little favicon and you're golden and now for the checkout page you're not going to want to do a lot of customization on your checkout page because there's really not a huge point to doing this because people already know and are already used to a default you know Shopify checkout page and you know they don't want to go and you know kind of feel unfamiliar especially in that crucial point when you know in the buyer psychology like when they're buying the product you don't want to confuse them you just want to make it as simple as possible so just you know don't do too much customization you can you know add a logo and things like that so right here like sure you can do that right um, and then uh, you can preview it as well we can preview our checkout page but but like I said, you don't want to do too much customization. So just uh, we're going to leave it like this. So now the next step of this Shopify store is to actually add products. But before we do that, um, we're going to want to look at this uh, newsletter right here. Now, um, email marketing, the reason why, guys, listen to this. If you just take one thing that I said from this video, the reason why Shopify is so powerful is because not only can you build an awesome social media following on it, which is huge in getting you those sales and running promotions and things like that, but even better is you can build an amazing, uh, huge email list. And email list, having an email list is literally your brand's asset. Like it's the biggest asset that you can have. And if you basically get um, your customers' emails, and not only people that are buying from you, but people that are just looking at your uh, store and you offer them some kind of a coupon in exchange for their email, which I'm gonna show you how to do using that app that I uh, that we saw on, I believe it was Fashion Nova, um, the wheel one. So basically, if you just collect uh, their emails, you can go and you can send them valuable uh, emails. You don't wanna be spamming them with you know salesy emails, but you can also push your products, you can also push product launches, and you can do a lot of other amazing stuff, like uh, you know basically send them out promotional emails with uh, coupon codes and things like that, which will, uh, give a huge boost to your Shopify store. And you know, also it will actually increase the value of your Shopify store if you ever wanna actually sell your store. Um, because yes, you're building an asset and then you can also you know, eventually sell it. It's a real business, right? So we're gonna go ahead and delete the newsletter right here. So we're gonna remove that section, we don't need it. And we're gonna be basically using a different app to collect customer emails. And so the next uh, part of the uh, setup for the Shopify store is we're gonna wanna go and fill out all of our general information. So just go ahead and go back to uh, Shopify, so make sure you save your work. And then let's go back to Shopify. And then right here in our menu, we're gonna click on settings. 
and just click on general setting and things like taxes and stuff. This is very important what I'm about to say. Do not worry about all of your tax information and all that kind of stuff until you're actually making great money from your Shopify store, until you're making a thousand or two thousand or five thousand or ten thousand dollars a month from your Shopify store. Do not worry about little things that will hinder you at the beginning of your journey. Because like I said, the biggest obstacle to people making money with Shopify is getting started and taking action. And these little things can really get you off track. And that's why you want to stay focused and you want to focus on actually making your first sale in your first dollar with your Shopify store because trust me guys making your first sale that first you know cha-ching that you guys hear on your phone from your Shopify app is gonna be everything and the more sales you get the more confidence you're gonna get to scale and to build you know to really build out your Shopify store build out your social media following uh, you know grow your email marketing list and just you know all these things that will allow you to just absolutely kill it and get into twenty thousand thirty thousand dollars and even fifty and a hundred thousand dollars a month with your Shopify store but the one important thing that you need to uh, worry about right here and I'm not gonna click because obviously it has all my personal information and my address but in the general if you scroll down, once you're in the general settings, um, you're going to want to look at the metric system or the imperial system and, you know, just use whatever's comfortable for yourself because that's very important for the shipping. So just use the measuring system that you're more comfortable with. And then, like I said, for the taxes, don't worry about that for now. And now we're going to talk about payments. So let's click on payment providers. Um, after you've changed that setting in your general settings. And the two most important ones here are Shopify Payments and PayPal. And the best one to use here is Shopify Payments. And the reason for that is because um, with a Shopify store, one thing you have to keep in mind is that it's a lot of transactions that are small. You know, they could be $10, $5, $20, $50. And credit cards, you know, if you're gonna use something other than Shopify, even PayPal, they're gonna get very suspicious. And they might think that, you know, it could be fraud or like money laundering or things like that because they're gonna see a lot of, you know, tiny transactions and they won't have any idea idea what's going on because obviously with drop shipping it's just a ton of tiny transactions so that's why with Shopify payments um, you know you're secured and you're not going to get shut down with your payment provider that's a big issue with Shopify if you don't know you know if, especially if you're not watching this video right now which is why I'm so happy you guys are here because you're getting this information so if your country um, if you're in a country that does not accept Shopify payments that's fine you can use uh, PayPal or another one that I recommend is Alipay right here Alipay global so you know just go ahead and set it up and you should be good to go now in your your Shopify payments uh, make sure that you change your credit card statement descriptor and the reason for that is because um, you, you don't want to change you want to make sure that it's accurate and that your customer is actually going to know what they bought when they look at their credit card statement because if it's you know some random stuff they're and they're not going to have any idea what it is that they bought they're going to go and they're going to call their credit card company and they're going to file a dispute and that's what you should be afraid of the most with Shopify you don't want any disputes because having a high dispute rate on your Shopify store will shut down your ability to take credit cards and obviously that will shut down your store your store's ability to make money. So make sure that this is good. So, you know, Fishing Warrior's fine. They'll probably remember what it was. And then right here for the phone number, um, you know, you can put any kind of uh, random phone number in there if you don't want to use your personal phone number or anything like that. And then right here, make sure your banking information is correct and in the correct currency. And now the next setting that we need to change is the checkout. So if you click on checkout, right here. So let's take a look right here. So um, customer contact is the first one that you're going to want to uh, click on right here. So customers can only check out using email. That's very important. And then um, right here, require last name only. And then after we've selected this option, we're going to click on, uh, we're going to scroll down here. And then for the email marketing, this is very important because you want to have the ability to uh, send your customers emails. Uh, so click on show a sign up option at checkout and then pre-select the sign up option. And that way you can get the ability to email market to your customers. And now finally, we get to the best and most important part and that is selecting a product now I'm gonna explain how drop shipping works um, we're gonna go on a site called aliexpress.com all right which is this site right here and so basically with Aliexpress there is just any kind of product that you can possibly imagine available here that you can drop ship and make a profit on now what drop shipping means is that we don't have to you know actually go and buy any kind of inventory that you might have to do with something like Amazon FBA or just having your own you know retail business we have to go purchase inventory from China and then hold the product until someone buys it well the beauty of Shopify is that you don't need to do any of that and you can actually just uh, purchase the product you only uh, spend money once you've made money and you know once you've actually made your money with the profit for your product when someone actually bought something from your store that's when you go and you purchase your product from the supplier on Aliexpress so as you can see it's a super powerful business model that literally involves zero risk so essentially we go on Aliexpress we find a product over here all right and then we basically use a uh, Chrome extension called Oberlo right which I'm going to show you guys how to install and I uninstalled it for this video so we're going to use the Chrome extension called Oberlo and then basically Oberlo makes it super easy to take that product and put it on our store um, without them knowing obviously that it's just being you know sold from China and also we can use Oberlo to fulfill our orders from China and as soon as someone buys it on our store um, basically you use Oberlo 
to uh, you know send their uh, information, like their address to the supplier, and then the supplier goes and sends them the product, and then you basically pocket the profit. All right, so the first step is to install Oberlo. So uh, I uninstalled it, but let's go ahead and install it. So my email is dan at amazonfreedomcourse.com. And then for a password, just you know put in a random password that you can make up. So there you go. And then once you've set up your free Oberlo account, it's totally free. Uh, you can go. And the link for Oberlo, by the way, is also right down below, as well as intelligence and all the other stuff that you need to set up your first uh, Shopify store. So, you know, it's right down below. Just go ahead and click on it there. And then once we've got an Oberlo account, we're going to want to actually install the Chrome extension for Oberlo. So just, you know, type on Google, install Oberlo Chrome extension, and then click uh, right here. And then I've already had it added to my Chrome. And so, as you can see, when we go on AliExpress, now we're actually gonna go and try to find some great products to add to our Shopify store. So let's do like fishing gear. We'll just see what we got here. And what Oberlo does is it, uh, this little blue thing pops up. And when you click this little blue thing, it adds it to your Shopify store. And it basically makes it super easy to just, you know, display it on Shopify store and which allows people to buy it. So let's do something like a bass fishing bait or lure. So as you can see, um, we've got a bunch of different ones right here. So let's do, um, let's see right here. So let's do this one right here. So this one's 49 cents. And you can sell this uh, for you know $10 if you really make your store look great and if you really make it seem like you're a premium brand. And that's the whole point. So um, right here, um, there's something called ePacket. And ePacket is super important because um, this really shortens the time that uh, your customers have to wait to actually get the product that you're selling to get shipped to them from China. Um, you know, instead of waiting like three weeks, they're going to be waiting uh, much less time. So we got five days of processing time, and you can see everything right here. Um, so ePacket does cost uh, some money, but as you can see, you just do 49 cents per piece plus the two dollars for the ePacket. So basically, that makes it 250. And then the difference between your selling price on your Shopify store, you know, uh, a typical multiplier that I use is times 10 or times eight. So you know, obviously for a fishing bait, I would probably do like 10 dollars or maybe. $20. $12, um, especially if we are a premium fishing store. And you always want to go for the premium. You always want to go for the best. You always want to make yourself look the best because that's a funny one right there because, um, you know, that way you can actually get higher order, uh, higher average orders and higher average cart values from your customers. And I've noticed that the real success on Shopify is getting an average cart value that's higher than $50. If you can find as many ways to actually upsell your customers and you get them and you, you know, you sell products in the $50 range or you basically have them buy you know, for example, we can do like a buy three and then get a fourth one for free with this one. And then you also, you know, throw in something else in there. And then anything you can do to get their average cart value to $50, um, you know, that's where we get the super high profits. That's where we get profit margins with 50%, 60%, um, which is obviously much higher even than other income streams such as Amazon FBA. And so that's where the million dollar shop by stores are. And, you know, those are the techniques that they're using. They're really getting their average uh, store sales and their store, uh, their cart values up to $50. And so, you know, we can do things such as, you know, make it like free shipping with uh, $50 or plus an average cart value, which I'm going to show you how to do as well. So a lot of great stuff, but that is the key to uh, Shopify drop shipping. So we're going to use this one and we're going to click on the Oberlo. So product imported successfully. And now let's do another one right here. So let's do, for example, a, um, let's see what we got, like a fishing, fishing net maybe. Okay. So that's a little big, but we can probably sell one for Okay, so that's like huge. So this one right here, right? Like this is a regular fishing net and this one's, uh, you know, $15. We can probably sell this for about maybe 79, 79, uh, 97. All right, so we'll just have that on here. And then this one right here is ePacket for free. So this one actually ships with ePacket for free, which is also great. And another thing is you can see if these items sell, you can see right here, 327 orders. This one right here has 100, uh, 1,000 orders, 1268. So as you can see, all this data really tells you what the good stuff is. And let's take a look at other uh, fishing stuff right here. So we've got all these little uh, fishing lures. Okay, so let's just click on the Oberlo here. We're gonna import that one as well. And so, um, Let's see what else we got. And then we can do like this one as well, all right? And then let's do one more fishing thing. So let's see what else we've got. So obviously, you know, getting into a niche that you actually know, um, you know, you actually know like what the products are, what the good stuff is, that's huge. And especially something you're passionate about because if you're entering a niche, for example, if you're a man, and you're entering like a pregnancy uh, clothing niche, for example, like maternity clothing, you're not gonna know what your customers are gonna want. It's gonna be very hard for you to actually get in there 
and understand your uh, customer. So obviously you're not gonna know what products to sell. So that's why I highly recommend just getting into niches that are, you know, that sell well, uh, and you, you know, there's a lot of money to be made, but also that you actually know, uh, you know, something about that you have previous experience with. And now a very important step after we've selected our product is to go into Oberlo.com. We're gonna click on import list and then we're gonna to have to connect our store or else uh, Oberlo doesn't know where to import the uh, products obviously. So for our case, it's fishingwarrior.myshopify, whoops, got cables all over my keyboard, myshopify.com, connect a store. All right, so that should connect our Shopify store. As you can see, it brings us a Shopify install app. And then um, from then on, it's gonna be super easy to see the products that we've selected on AliExpress. Um, so let's see right here. So don't worry about all this stuff for now. So just save settings. And then we're gonna go here in our import list and we're gonna click on imports a store and then imports a store. And as you can see, and now it's gonna import all of the stuff right here. So just wait until it's, uh, it's all done. And then right here, you should be able to see them in your products. So there you go, we've got two. And you can even see crucial information, like how much they have in stock, how much your suppliers have in stock. Um, so as you can see right here, just click on a product. And so now we're actually gonna make our product look good uh, on the uh, store itself. Now for the actual product, like you can do anything pretty much. You can add an image from URL, you can add your own custom image. Like I would definitely remove this Fish King, uh, you know, uh, logo right here if I were you. Um, but the main thing is you wanna change your title and you wanna make it sound like, you know, obviously a lot better than this, this huge uh, numbered, uh, you know, Chinese supplier title right here. So let's go ahead and call this Fishing Warrior Premium uh, Bass Spinner Bait uh, Lure. Okay, and then we can do like uh, perfect for bass, bass fishing season, all right? Or for perfect for bass fishing. There we go, so save. And then right here, search for collections. Um, that's where we're gonna have to add our own collections, which we're gonna get to in a second. Um, so just, there we go, product was successfully saved. And that obviously looks a lot cleaner. And also we've branded it ourselves. And like I said, you can put any kind of picture you want on here and you can get amazing artwork done for you if you want a custom picture on Fiverr as well. So you can pretty much do anything. And then for this one right here, we can call it Fishing Warrior Survivalist, Survi Survivalist Fishing Net. There you go. And then you can like put like a size in brackets or anything like that. And then all this stuff, you know, you can just put anything you want down here. That's your copy. And we're not gonna go over that in this video. Um, basically, you're gonna wanna type in just, you know, sentences uh, talking about the product. For example, like, you know, the best fishing net or like, you know, ever been out in the in the wild without a fishing net or whatever, this fishing net's perfect for you, right? So we're not gonna go into that. It's pretty self-explanatory. And obviously this video is not about uh, how to write copy, but there you go, we've covered the basic stuff. And then for the fishing net also, like I said, we're gonna add our own uh, images and then um, you're gonna wanna do that as well. And then for the price, this is where you're gonna actually change your price. Now, um, this is actually uh, by default from the Oberlo, uh, from the Oberlo app. It actually has a multiplier of two. So basically it took the price on AliExpress and it just times it by two, but we're not going to want to do that. We're going to want to sell this for 79, 90, you know, 98 or 79, 99, and then compare that with 40, 149, 99. Okay. So that basically, um, you know, shows the appearance. It gives the appearance of like a higher perceived value. So there you go, save. And then uh, pretty much we can like view if we view the product, there you go. So obviously, you know, fishing warrior survivalist fishing net, and then you can, you know, select the picture. Uh, you can, you know, obviously change this, take out their Chinese logo, pretty easy to do. And if you don't know how to do that, again, just go ahead and use Fiverr. So there you go. You wanna make sure that your price, uh, you have a higher price, it's crossed out, and then you've got your actual price right there. So, um, there you go. So now we've got these two basic products and now we're gonna go and actually create some collections. So click on collections and then um, right here, I'm gonna create a collection and then we're gonna call it uh, best sellers, all right? So best sellers, and then for this one, we're gonna do manual because we wanna add products manually. So just click on save, and then we're also gonna do a uh, new releases collection because we've got two tabs up there. So there you go. Obviously, you're gonna have much more than just a couple products on your store. Manual, and then new releases, new releases collection, save, okay? 
And then if you guys are wondering how to find like the best possible, the most profitable uh, Shopify products to sell for your store, for your niche, I'm gonna be creating a video with the absolute best product research uh, techniques to find those super profitable $10,000 a month and $20,000 a month Shopify products. So stay tuned for that. I'm super pumped for you guys. So for this one, uh, new releases, we're gonna go and add some products as well. So just go back to the best sellers. And now we're gonna add some, uh, some products. So there you go, add a product uh, manually. And then now we're gonna click on premium bass spinner and then premium bass fishing net. There you go. And then we're gonna click on uh, save. All right, so the save button should be down here because my trial just started. I, for some reason, can't click on the save button. So I'll just be right back. So now we've got our products and we've got them in the best sellers. And so now we've got our products, we've got them in the right collections. And so now we're gonna talk about shipping. Now this is very important. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and go to settings. I'm gonna click on shipping. Now where you wanna look at is the shipping zones right here. And you're gonna wanna click on the shipping zone and actually delete it. So just delete all the shipping zones you see in there. And then let's delete this one as well, delete shipping zone. And now we're gonna actually create our own custom shipping zone. And the reason for this, the reason why we're gonna you know, set our own shipping rate is because most, like 99% of your customers are gonna come from either Canada, United States, Australia, or the United Kingdom. And so basically for, in that case, we are going to try to get them to purchase more than $50 for an average cart value because if they don't purchase like $50 in an average cart value and with a store with like, you know, premium fishing nets and things like that, it's gonna be pretty easy to do that. Um, we're gonna try to incentivize to do that because if they don't do that, we're not gonna be making as much money and as much profit as we can uh, with our store. So for the zone name, you can pretty much, you know, just do whatever you want, like, you know, Canada, USA, UK, Australia, all right? And then add countries. I know I misspelled Australia there, so we're gonna go ahead and do um, USA, so United States. There you go. And then we're gonna click on Canada. And then Australia. And then the United Kingdom. All right, and then just add all that. And then right here, we're gonna click on price-based rates. And minimum order price, we're gonna do $50, all right? And this is the free, free over 50, actually free shipping, $50 plus. There you go, so minimum order price is 50. And then there you go, free shipping. So that way we incentivize them to get free shipping. And so basically for anything else, um, we are going to add a rate and the rate is gonna be, let's do 9.99. And so for anything under $50, we are going to do a 9.99 shipping rate. So that way they'll really, really get incentivized to uh, purchase uh, you know, above $50, they'll like add stuff to their cart. So minimum order price, there you go. So standard, you can do standard shipping or express shipping. So, you know, you can call it express shipping. That's what I've done for my Shopify stores because it just makes it sound like it's gonna come faster, right? So it's all about the perceived value, obviously, so save. And now we're back at the shipping zones and one last step for the shipping zones, we're gonna create a shipping zone for the rest of the world. So, you know, rest of world, all right? So add countries and we're pretty much gonna do rest of the world. There you go. And so for this one, we are going to set a, um, a rate right here. So minimum order price zero, we're gonna do standard shipping. And right here for the rate amount, we are going to do something ridiculous. And we're gonna do $29.99 because, or like $19.99 because, you know, if someone buys your product from like, you know, Somalia or some random country, um, this is really gonna incentivize them from buying it because, you know, with the high shipping rate, because you want, you know, most of your customers to come from uh, Canada, United States, UK, or Australia, because that's where the most profits can be made, all right? So you click on done, and then you are pretty much good to go, so save. So now we've got our products, we've got our shipping rate set up. Now I'm gonna get into some of the apps that I'm using uh, from my Shopify stores that have completely blown up my sales and that I highly recommend you guys use as well. Now the first app that I'm gonna show you guys is Spin a Sale and it is the same app that we saw in this video uh, on I believe the Fashion Nova website. So we just refresh the page and if we click off, um, I don't know, it's not showing us it anymore, but basically it is an awesome app that pretty much kind of uh, you know provides an element of gambling to your customers and you know everybody loves to gamble and that way whenever someone's about to click off of your store, they're gonna be given that like, they're gonna be shown that wheel, which in exchange for an email, they'll be able to win uh, a coupon code and it can be like 5%, 10%, whatever you set it to. And obviously if they like, you know, have the idea that they've won something from your site, they're gonna be a lot more incentivized to buy from your uh, Shopify store. So let's go ahead and install Spin a Sale right here. And it is a free trial. So just click on get, okay. And then enter your store's URL. So log in, you're gonna wanna log into your uh, Shopify store and then install app. All right, so now we've got Spin a Sale installed. So you're just gonna go ahead and in your menu, in your Shopify menu, you're gonna click on apps and then click on Spin a Sale. So just click on it right here. And that's gonna take us to um, this, so select the plan. And now we're in Spin a Sale. 
and we're gonna select the theme for uh, our color wheel. And we're gonna click on Outback because that is the one that I use for all my Shopify stores and that's the uh, the most common one that I've seen. So just click on, click on uh, Save and Continue. And then right here, we're gonna go on uh, prizes. So right here, we've got prize one name. So, you know, you can just do like 5%, 5% off. There you go, so five, you know, 5%. Or you can do actually uh, fishing, fishing warrior five. There you go. Probability, we can do like 20%. Um, so prize one details, so copy your coupon code, enter it to the discount field at checkout. So don't change that, it's gonna tell them where they're gonna put their code in. We can do a 5% off, 10% off, 25% off. And then for prize number four, we're gonna do jackpot. So for jackpot, we're gonna do a 30% coupon. You're not gonna to wanna to do anything more than that because that really cuts into your profits, obviously, unless you know you wanna just be generous and give them a 50% off coupon. Um, but there you go, so just four prizes. Um, so that should be uh, good. So jackpot, and then for this one, we'll do We'll do try again, okay? Try again, all right, so that should be good. And then coupon will be um, nothing, okay? So probability for the try again will be 25%, probability for the jackpot will be, uh, we'll do 5%, and then for this, so 20, 20, 20, so this one's 25, so 50, and then this one we'll do like a 20, 20, and then 10. There you go. And then one thing we forgot to do was actually fill out the rest of the coupons here. So just do Fishing Warrior 10, and then uh, Fishing Warrior 25, you know, and pretty much the same for all of those. Fishing Warrior, might as well just fill it up. Fishing Warrior um, 30. So this one's a 30% off coupon. And then this one is a try again. All right. So we're just not gonna write anything in there. So save and continue. And then one more step we need to do is actually create the coupon code. So right here, click on the discount page and then um, open that in the new tab. And then just create a discount for all of the coupon codes that you created right here. So Fishing Warrior 5. So right here, we'll just do like Fishing you know, Warrior 5, pretty simple. And then right here, 5% off, applies to entire order. You know, no minimum purchase amount, customer eligibility, everyone. And then usage limit, you can limit it to one use per customer. That's what I would do because you don't want them to uh, use it a bunch of times. So there you go, save. And now back on spin a sale. Uh, right here, this will show like a delay. So spin a sale will display after visitors spend a certain amount of time on your website. So we can do like uh, maybe 10 seconds. That's a good one. And then right here, this is where the real gold comes in with spin a sale. Uh, these are the exit intent triggers. Um, this one right here, uh, it's gonna pop up the uh, wheel um, and it's gonna get, you know, try to get their email and it's gonna give them the coupon code if they win, if uh, they move their mouse away from the actual uh, store. And then right here, show on mobile exit intent, I'll also do that as well. And then down here for the cookie duration, uh, this basically, you wanna specify how long um, you know, how long until you want the uh, pop-up to not appear for, how long you want until it's gonna actually reappear. So um, you can do like, you know, one or two hours. So we'll just do, um, you know, one hour. It says right here, best results, one hour. That's what I personally do anyway. So save and continue. So there you go, show on website, and then we can go and uh, preview it on our site. So let's just take a look and see. And then there you go, win a special prize, no luck today. Uh, and you can also obviously change all of that stuff, all that text, if you wanna remove that extra try again, uh, you can. So it basically pops up as soon as you try to get your mouse off the screen. And right here, you can integrate it with um, your uh, MailChimp or your Aweber, which is the best part about all this because um, you know that way you actually capture their email and then you also, so not only do you get their email for future email promotions, but you also um, entice them to purchase from your store if they win a coupon. So in the integration right here, we are going to uh, click on Shopify integration, and then we're gonna click on either MailChimp or Aweber. I personally use Aweber, so just connect it to your Aweber account. Basically, MailChimp and Aweber are both um, you know, the most popular email marketing uh, tools. So just go create your own Aweber account or MailChimp. You can use either or, although I personally use um, Aweber. MailChimp is just simpler, but I've noticed that Aweber has uh, better deliverability rates in my personal experience with Shopify and with all my other online businesses. So you're gonna connect that and you're good to go. Just hit save. So now we're back in our theme. Um, and now let's just uh, fix it up a little bit right here. So collection list, um, we can go and delete this right here. Um, we can remove that section and then we can keep that one down here. So, you know, there's a lot to play around with. Talk about your brand. This is actually really good. You can, you know, put in here like a little bit of your, about your brand history. So right here, you know, we can put like um, what, like what we stand for, what we stand for at Fishing Warrior, you know, and then right here, 
we can put some amazing copywriting. And of course, if you don't know how to write copy, you can either learn it or you can hire someone on Fiverr. Like I said, if you, you know, if it takes too much time for you to learn it, just outsource it. Um, if you're a smart entrepreneur. And so now we pretty much have an almost fully functional Shopify store running. The only last thing we need to do is make sure that these two tabs, the top here, uh, actually link to the correct uh, product list, to the correct collection. So let's click on header right here. And then in your menu, we'll click on edit menu. And this is gonna take us to our menu at the top there. So for the best sellers, click on uh, edit. And so right now it's taking us to all of our products, but instead we want it to take us to our best sellers um, product right here. And right here, you can also add some tags, which is obviously super helpful if you, you know, if you wanna like have multiple collections with like, you know, let's say specific tags, like for example, bait or, you know, lures, for example. That way it's just better for organization and that way you can, you know, filter products out, especially if you have a huge store, it just makes things a lot easier. But for this, we're just gonna click there. And then for the new releases collection, we're also gonna do the exact same thing, although we didn't really add anything to our new releases uh, collection. And there you go. And one last thing we need to do is we need to make sure that this shop now link, I almost forgot, we need to make sure that it um, actually takes us to our product so that people can buy them. So click on the uh, slide and then down here for the slide link collections and then we can take them to anywhere we want. So we're gonna take them to best sellers and now we are fully functional. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna go on our actual site now. So fishingwarrior.shopify.com. And there you go, Fishing Warrior, the best fishing gear on the planet, shop now. And that's gonna take us to our collections. And I forgot to change the price for this uh, fishing one right here. But as you can see, it's fully functional. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do to have an extremely profitable Shopify store that is gonna be able to generate you $5,000, $10,000, $20,000 plus a month in passive income. And then from that, you can basically go and you know uh, scale it up to seven figures and then build a massive social media following and build an amazing email marketing list. And you pretty much have everything you need to know now to go out there and get started. And now, you know, that brings us to the most important point, which is take action, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you guys click the subscribe button. And now if you guys are interested in the best uh, product research techniques that will find you those extremely profitable products that I've personally used to build out my Shopify stores, then go ahead and leave a comment right down below. All you need to do is write Shopify product research, three words. If we get the video to 250 comments, I'm gonna go ahead and release that video as soon as possible for you guys. So I'm super, super pumped. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in building that passive income lifestyle building an online business that will free you and that will allow you to live your life to the fullest and follow me on social media instagram and snapchat and i'll see you guys soon